Finally, let's look at how we can represent the capacitor with an initial voltage V0 in the Laplace domain. Once again, we're going to write the differential relationship in the capacitor. It's I in the capacitor as a function of time is equal to C dV dt. So we take the Laplace transform of both sides. We have the Laplace transform of I of t is equal to the Laplace transform here, C dV dt. We factor the, the C outside the integral of the Laplace transform. Over here we have I of s then is equal to C times the Laplace transform of dV dt. And once again, we recall the uh, operational transform of the derivative. On the right-hand side, we have then C times the Laplace transform of the derivative. That's just S V of S minus V at 0 minus. Once again, V of 0 minus is uh, the voltage on the capacitor for a switching event. V of 0 plus is right after. They're the same value for the voltage on the capacitor. So we're going to replace that V of 0 minus with a V0. Go ahead and distribute the C on through, and we get then that I of S, the current in the, the Laplace current associated with this capacitor, is equal to C S V of S minus C V naught. Now, how do we represent this in terms of circuit elements? Well, we see that I of S consists of two components. So if we think of I of, the, I of S flowing into a node with two other terminals, I of S is equal to, and the voltage across this combination is V of S, the current flowing this way will be the voltage across here V of S divided by 1 over SC, which is then um, CS V of S. The current coming down here is CS V of S, and that's representing this term. And then we have flowing into the node a current comparable or equal in value to C times V naught. So this parallel structure consisting of a current source whose value is the value of the capacitor C times the initial voltage on the capacitor in parallel with the capacitor whose value is 1 over S times C and the current flowing into here then I of S is equal to this current here C V or C S V of S minus the current coming in here which is C V zero. And once again we can come up with the alternative form. In this case, we started out with a parallel form to redraft this in the serial series form. We go through a source transformation where the voltage source is equal to the current source times the impedance, or this voltage source over here will be equal to C V zero times one over S C. That's just the current times the impedance. The C's cancel and we're left with V zero over S for that. And then of course we just take the impedance and put it in series. So we have a series representation and a parallel representation in the time or in the frequency domain of the Laplace domain corresponding to a capacitor with an initial voltage of V naught on it. Note also the direction or the reference direction of the um, voltage source and the current source. Both of these have to do with or represent the voltage on the capacitor. In this case, the voltage was referenced top to bottom, so V is referenced top to bottom. And if current were flowing out of this, it would be flowing from this up, and so over here on the current, the current source is referenced flowing up into the node also.